When a student experiences both vision and hearing loss, he or she can miss out on information in the classroom. An intervener is a person with specialized training who provide a student with deafblindness the information and communication that would be otherwise outside what he or she can see and hear. This enables the student to have the same access to what is happening in the classroom as their peers. Though the teacher and classmates are just a few feet away from him, it is beyond what he can see clearly. His intervener is trained to gather and modify information and present it so that he has clear access to the teacher's instructions that he would otherwise miss. The term deafblindness tends to be misunderstood as the total absence of vision and hearing. Individuals with deafblindness have a wide range of vision and hearing loss, and they may have additional disabilities as well. A child's access extends only as far as he or she can hear, see, and understand. Jolie is profoundly deaf with close vision. She requires materials, modeling, and sign language to be presented on her right side within about two feet. It is critical for a child with deafblindness to have the same access to language, literacy, and learning within the reach of his or her senses. The intervener helps the child gather information to learn and develop greater independence, doing activities with, not for, the student. For example, here the intervener encourages the student to plant the seed herself. An intervener can bridge the gap between the student with deafblindness and his or her teacher, peers, and objects in the environment. A skilled intervener communicates using the child's preferred communication mode. This could include touch cues, object symbols, sign language, gestures, pictures, speech, behavior, and other alternatives. Most importantly, the intervener responds promptly to the child's unique communication attempts that would otherwise go unnoticed or possibly escalate into severe behaviors. Although part of the IAP team, an intervener does not take the place of a teacher. He or she works under the direction of the teacher who guides instruction. If a student with deafblindness seems to be struggling to access information or communicate, the IEP team may want to consider if a person trained in intervener strategies is appropriate.